up everybody welcome to the channel or welcome back to the channel it's master aquatics bringing you guys another video so in this video i'm going to be reacting to a puffer fish video this video does contain live feeding so if you are squeamish to that please click off of this video right now you might find some of the clips disturbing this guy does feed his puffer fish some things that i wouldn't feed to my fish but a lot of people seem to enjoy this video it got a lot of views it got about 750,000 views so a lot of people did seem to enjoy it so i'm gonna go ahead play a few clips of this video remember the original video is down in the description just click on that link to watch the whole thing i'm just going to be reacting to a few clips check it out Alright, so not so bad, you know, he's just feeding a crawfish to his Mabu puffer, I believe that's what that is, that is a beautiful puffer, it's not like my green spotted puffers, I do love my green spotted puffers, but I wish I just had a Mabu puffer, but unfortunately those puffer fish are really expensive and they take a lot of responsibility, so I'm not up to that right now, but things are looking pretty normal, you know, I feed crayfish to my fish and animals as well. But take a look at this next clip right here. So obviously this guy is into feeding all kinds of different things to his puffer fish. As you can see that was a scorpion. I'm not sure what kind of scorpion that is. I don't know if it's venomous to that fish. But it did look like the scorpion managed to get a sting on the puffer fish. And one thing that I always do when I feed my puffer fish like crabs or anything that could potentially hurt my fish. I make sure to get rid of their pinchers and stingers just so they don't hurt my fish. Especially since that's an expensive fish. I wouldn't want any damage done to it. You know it is a pricey fish. But I do believe that the puffer fish does have thick skin. I don't know how lethal that sting is to the puffer fish. But nonetheless, I would still be careful with a fish like that to make sure that it's not harmed or damaged. Holy smokes. He just fed that thing a freaking millipede or a centipede, whatever you want to call it. I mean, I'm surprised that thing didn't put up a fight. That was kind of a, a pansy little centipede because I've seen those things take down rats. But maybe they're just not too uh, resilient in, in a water environment. So, but props to that pufferfish for being able to take that thing down uh, without getting injured. Because I thought for sure that thing was going to bite it. But, you know, that pufferfish is just way too smart and just outsmarted that thing. But I do have a question, where is this guy getting all these animals, exotic animals to feed to his uh, puffer fish? And if he's buying these things, they gotta be pricey. I mean, he's spending all that money just to feed his puffer fish. He either really loves his puffer fish or he's getting all of these animals for free to feed to his puffer. Alright, so now you know this guy is kind of crazy because he threw in the gator in there and I don't think he threw it in there thinking, oh, my puffer fish is not going to eat this. I think that was his first time throwing a gator in there and I think his mind was saying that this puffer fish might try to go for this gator. I want to try to get this on camera. I think this guy is a little sick in the head. You know, I've done some pretty messed up things uh from feeding blue crayfish to uh, prawn shrimps and stuff like that but i wouldn't try to feed a gator to my puffer fish or anything graphic like that so i'm gonna leave the original video down in the description if you guys want to watch the whole thing he does end up getting a piranha uh, against this puffer fish and i'm not gonna say who won but check it out. Click that link in the description and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care and peace out.